morning. I just had my third night and uh, it was great. It was beautiful. I had to do some driving during the night to get here, but I found the area and uh, I'm very thankful for that. It was kind of a, a hairball drive in the, in, the, in the middle of the night out here. I'm way out here. Looking around me right now, I can probably see for 10 miles in every direction and I can't, there's, there's nobody else out here. So I'm out here in a very interesting area and uh, uh, yesterday as I, after I uh, closed out that hole that you saw, I bagged up a nice bag of concentrates from the dry washer. So I got a little over half a gallon from three hours of run time. And uh, I, didn't do, I didn't do the clean outs as often as I normally do, but um, that was a three hour run time. And then after that, I did one more area and I got another, probably a quarter of a gallon from a, from a different spot, which I'd already sampled previously. The difference is that where I actually did the dry washing was uh, another foot, foot and a half up from the gully. So that could make all the difference in the world. We'll see. The last time I sampled that particular spot, that particular little gully, I call it the little gully, um, there was a pretty coarse gold in there. Nice coarse gold. It looked like it was, you know, I don't know, close to the source or what. But anyway, so I I didn't do any panning so far. Today I'm going to do a little bit of panning. Uh, today I'm going to run the dry washer for a couple hours, probably about a half an hour, and then I'll do a panning. Maybe an hour do a panning. Um, and if I find some gold, I'm going to run the dry washer for a few more hours at least before I get out of here. But I am going to go home today. Uh, it's been a great trip. Three nights out here. Um, you know, no accidents, no car troubles, anything like that. Today I'm going to do a little bit of metal detecting first. I'm going to take a walk. I'm going to take a walk over that way. There's a there's a, a something I want to check out over that way. And I'm going to do a little detecting. And uh, I've got along this little harness I'm going to try for my camera for uh, do, doing some detecting videos. But this morning already I started detecting and I found a couple things that are pretty interesting. I found I found some bullets already and I found some uh, pieces of like the uh, the the housing the casing the casing the bullet casing I found some bullet casings I found a couple bullets found a couple other pieces of trash but I also found this steel ball or this iron ball and uh, that's pretty neat I've never found a ball like that before but then right next to it I found this one which is I'm assuming it's it's the same thing. I mean, it's an iron, it's an iron ball. They were right next to each other, except one of them is really weathered and pitted, and the other one is is not. So, anyway, I'll check in and I'll show you what I find along the way. And uh, thanks All for right. watching. I'm taking a little walk here. There's a an area I want to check out over here and. And uh, using the discriminator, there's a lot of trash out here I found already, and uh, I've gotten pretty good with the discriminator now. So the trouble is that everything is But a nice high tone, nice solid high tone, I go ahead and 
you know, most of those I, I did. So let's see what this is. <laughs> Normally, with another bullet. Nice one. A big slug. There, the beauty. All right. Had a pretty good little hunt there. I think I was hunting for about an hour, walking around, and uh, found uh, quite a handful of targets. I'm gonna show you here. Um, this is normally what I have when I go out detecting. I have a, I don't always bring the pick, but if I can, usually I bring the pick along on my belt. I've got a loop, I've got a loop and a little tool pouch for the pick. These are the two that I always bring, a screwdriver and my little um, plastic shovel and uh, gloves. You know, normally I have gloves on, even though sometimes it's a little bit tedious when you're dealing with the small uh, items, you know, the, the dirt and everything. But I find that when you're out for hours and hours, uh, just having the protection on your hands for the sun is important. And then secondly, your hands don't dry out nearly as fast when you're handling all that dry stuff. So I normally have gloves on and I just make it work. And uh, today I didn't have gloves on, but it was a short hunt. And uh, I'll show you what I've got here. Normally I use like a pill, pill bottle or a, or a little, little chewing gum bottle or something like that for my container. Got a pretty great representation here of just about every non-ferrous metal except for gold. <laughs> no platinum and no gold and no silver that I could that I I don't think I have any gold, platinum or silver in here. But uh, you can see I got quite an assortment there of uh, a lot of a lot of uh, lead fragments from bullets. A lot of whole bullets. I got a few nice shells. Winchester 45 automatic. Um, this one had a nice signal. Oh boy. Good old school pull tab. Um, so there you go. A lot of, lot of shrapnel. Now if you're finding small little pieces of iron like this. Actually this is. I think this is brass. This is not iron, this is brass. If you're, fall, if you're finding small little pieces, this. There's another little piece of brass. Um, small lead. Small leads is, 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 one of the, is one of the keys here. Let's see. I, know, I think I got it. A, a this is a fairly small piece of lead. It's a piece of a bullet. Now, this is going to sound a lot like a nugget with your detector. If you if you're out if you're out prospecting with a detector and you're looking for gold, the best thing that I can do is to recommend to everybody or anybody is to buy a piece of gold or find a piece of gold and uh, or use a piece of gold from jewelry but uh, not a ring. I mean, you know, you gotta kind of mash it up so it looks like a natural piece of gold. Anyway, use that to test your machine to hear what it sounds like. A small piece of lead like this will also make a similar signal as gold, but the gold will be softer. The gold will be a, a, a softer mid-tone kind of thing. Anyway, so that's the right, finds guys, from the small. I ran the dry washer in this new area for one half hour and I did a pan. Um, first I used the classifiers and I screened off all the quarter inch plus and I ran my little metal detector over that. This is the lead I found uh, before I panned it out. So I'm cleaning out more lead from the environment because I always take this out with me. You can see there's about 
30 pieces of shot right there and then there's one sliver of of lead so I got all the lead out for a pretty quick run with the dry washer there's a uh, there's a variety of pieces in here or a variety of sizes you can see off to the left there's a piece of lead And, um, and then to the right of that piece of lead, that's all gold in there. There's a pieces of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, about ten pieces of gold, including a nice little, you know, piece that's got some, uh, some dimension to it. It's not just a flat little piece. So that's pretty great for uh, a little sample in a new area. Woo-wee! All right, I'm all wrapped up. I got the vehicle packed up. I got my camp all broken down and everything picked up. I even picked up some trash left here by some other people. I got all my trash bagged up. Um, this is the uh, sun starting to go down. I'm pretty far away from home. I got a do quite a drive to get back home so I'm gonna be packing up here but also um, I was getting tired you know <laughs> so what I did here at this at this last spot this is day three this is the third area first area if you remember was too wet to dry wash second area went really well and I was able to um, do a full excavation on video for you all to see and then I did that second area at at location number two uh, off camera bagged up those concentrates made it over here last night and uh, in this particular spot this is what I'm gonna call I haven't exactly figured out a name for it yet but um, I did get some pay dirt <coughs> We'll see how it turns out. I did. I did bring some pay dirt back with me. Um, this particular spot, I, I sampled in two separate locations because I've not been here before. So the first one you saw, you saw when I panned it out, there was gold there. So what I did is I went and I ran another half an hour in that same location, that same spot. And then I moved my setup uh, over a little bit and sampled a, another area for another half an hour. And that was straight shoveling and digging for a solid hour. And, uh, um, boy, I was waiting for that buzzer to go off. Because I said I set a timer, and I was waiting for that timer to go off. So I'll take a little break between, between diggings. To make a long story short... I've got uh, another hour's worth of dry washing time from this spot to go through after I get back home. So uh, on this video here, I'll, at the end of the video, I'll splice in uh, the gold that I found here at spot number three. Um, from the two different locations, I. I I'm, I haven't thought about that yet, but probably I'll show you the gold from two different locations here at spot number three. Why not? I'll show you the gold from the two different spots from, from area number two from yesterday. So, um, and then we'll see how it goes. This particular spot, what you didn't see today was it was very hard panning. It was very tricky panning, and uh, some of the hardest panning, it's probably ties with some of the hardest panning I've ever had to do. Now, And that wasn't because of the lead. So you'll see at the end of the video what I'm talking about. Um, it's very tricky. It's very interesting uh, also. So um, this is going to be spot, this is going to be a new, this might be a new location. And uh, Pater will be available Probably only through my website, uh, not through eBay. I have four different 
areas available on eBay. I'm thinking that this particular area is only going to be available through my through my website. Ten dollars a bag for two pound bags, and uh, shipping will be very reasonable. So, if you're interested, let me know. Okay, so I'm going to be headed on out of here, and uh, sure is nice out here. I'll tell you what, it's one of the most beautiful places. Um, so yeah, I'm going to wrap it up and head on out. And then over the next couple days, next two or three days or whatever it is, I'll go through the, uh, I'll go through the concentrates. I'll classify them down and I'll pan them out and I'll do a video to recap the gold and what I found. And I hope you're all doing really well and, uh, have a great day. Right now I've returned home had a safe drive back um, getting ready to go through the concentrates from the different dry washing areas and I'll be adding some I'll be adding a video and some photographs of what gold I find I wanted to just take a moment and show you guys I'm sending off um, another order of pater I've got an order going to Wisconsin got an order going to Florida and another four pound bag going to Pennsylvania so I just wanted to mention really quickly that if you enjoy my videos and you appreciate the time and, and everything I take to put into them you can support the channel by leaving comments below that's helpful. Um, also, you can subscribe to the channel. You can share a video or two um, on your social networks. And you can also, um, I do have a Patreon page. You can support the Patreon, you can support the channel. Uh, if you look in the description below, there's a link to the Patreon page. For as little as a dollar a month, you can contribute to um, to my efforts and help support the channel also um, there's a link down in the description to my website and the best way to buy pay dirt directly from me is um, and concentrates the best way to buy pay dirts and concentrates is directly through me through the website with PayPal and a two pound bag is ten dollars um, plus a little bit of shipping so it's the best deal on eBay they're $12 plus shipping and uh, same thing on Etsy they're $12 so that's just a little brief uh, thing I wanted to do thank you very much for all the support and all the kind words and the encouragement have a great day everybody and uh, thanks again okay welcome back I'm here for the final wrap-up for the uh, for the trip for the for this last vlog here and what I wanted to do is I wanted to go through what really occurred is at two different locations because the first location was too wet to, to dry wash at two different locations um, I I dry washed in two separate areas two separate spots so what I'm gonna do is go down a rundown of each spot, including the gold, I've panned everything out. I've got, I've got uh, the gold from spot number four here, the gold from spot number three in this one, and so on. Gold from spot number, uh, actually it's, it's in the reverse order. This is four, three, this is number two, and this is number one. So what I'm going to do is go in the reverse order and just share with you some observations and uh, and just go through that. So what we have here, this is actually the fourth area that I sampled and um, there is some gold in here. It's fairly small. Let me see if I can 
see it on the camera here. It's right up here, and um, it's it's coarse. It's coarse gold, but it is it is fairly small, and there's probably um, 20 pieces in there. Maybe five of them are kind of like nice big piece of pepper, and then the other ones are small, real fine, all the way down to fly poop. And then there's some black sand in there. This spot here, this was from a half an hour run with the dry washer. And I either did a half an hour, two of these are for half an hour runs, and then one of them's an hour run. This, this spot here, so this is number four. Tiny little bit of gold, but there was some gold. Pretty interesting area, very happy with that. That's spot number four. This is the third area. And this pan, actually when I panned out this, this particular half an hour, there was two pieces. One, there's actually one nice little piece of gold in there, which is right here. And there's one other little small piece, like a speck in there. Uh, definitely this was a nice piece of gold but all things considered for a half an hour run with the dry washer there's that other little very small piece of gold for a half an hour run with the dry washer this is pretty bad um, and the interesting thing about this area particularly is that the panning is very difficult it's uh, one of the most difficult areas it's one of the two most difficult areas I've ever had to pan from. And what I wanted to show you is the reason for that is that, well, before I go into that, uh, the interesting thing about this particular spot is that this was from the second half hour that I, that I, pan, that I uh, dry washed. So this is actually, I'll show you the gold from the first half an hour from that spot which is the gold I panned out in the field. The gold that you guys saw me pan on the video earlier out in the field from the last day is right here. Okay, so one of those pieces, the largest piece, is from the last half an hour. What's interesting is that all this gold here was from the first half an hour. And this is the stuff that you saw me pan out in the field. And then this one was from the second half an hour. So as I dug a little bit deeper, gold got a lot worse. So that's something to keep in mind there. Sometimes that happens. You test first in this area, you think, wow, this is pretty decent. You keep digging and you end up with this type of thing. So it's sort of hit or miss. But anyway, that's the gold from, basically that's the combined gold from the first, from the uh, first spot in the second area. So this is what I'm calling number, th this is the uh, third sample. And this is, uh, this was from the second area. So this is actually one hour's worth of dry washing right there. And uh, that's all panned out. Now what made it interesting, particularly and, and particularly hard for panning was that the area had a lot of what's called shellite. And I'm gonna hold this up here. This is what, this is what I'm talking about. This is shellite. And shellite is an ore of tungsten. And it's very dense, it's very dense very dense like gold. It's super heavy, super dense, and I'm gonna show you what it looks like here. This is an empty pan right here. And the shellite, the shellite is the white material. And the shellite is extremely dense. It's almost equal in density to gold. So this is very hard panning. This area was a very, it's a very challenging area to pan. And so what I thought I would do is ask the viewers if you would 
in the comment, let me see, I got another little notepad here. In the comment section below, give me your ideas for a name for a very hard to pan pay dirt. I'd like to see what your ideas are for a good name for a very hard to pan pay dirt. Particularly, it would be good if it had four words. You know, like uh, like my other one is called uh, Volcanic Desert Pay Dirt. The other one's Jurassic River Pay Dirt. So what we're really looking for is two words, maybe three words, and then pay dirt. Give me your ideas about what you think about that. All right, so that was the second area that I visited on the video, and those, those are the that's the bowl that was recovered. I'm going to show you going back to the first area. I'm going to show you spot number three first. Now this is from one hour of dry washing. And you can see right up in here is the gold. It's very coarse. It's actually some like wire gold in here. I'm going to see if I can zoom that in a little closer there. It's extremely coarse. Um, I dug right down into the bedrock in a, in a spot there. I call it the little gully. And this is from one hour of dry washing. So this is pretty good. I was pretty happy. Pretty happy with that sort of what I expected I had sampled that area first and I talked to I talked about it on the video this is an area where after I did the big dig which I which I filmed this is the spot I did not film this is the spot I ran for one hour with the dry washer and that's what I found in one hour so there you go that's really the second spot but for this video it's the actually the third um, but this is the second spot that I mined with the dry washer on the trip. Okay, now we're getting down to the very first spot here. And this was the best by far. This is the spot that I filmed. So this is the, this is the results from that, that spot that I cleaned out and vacuumed and raked and, and excavated and all that. And that's the gold from from that spot there so very happy with that there's a lot of beautiful gold there it's it's coarse it's uh, it's rough gold it's dimensional it's not flat and uh, nice little amount of gold right there I want to thank my uncle my uncle Bob helped me go through the the concentrates and uh, he got a real kick out of that it's the first time he's ever done that so uh, that was pretty cool to have his help with that. Anyway, that's the gold from the first spot which you saw the entire excavation on, on film. Okay, so there's the gold from that. And then last but not least, I wanna show you, this is the lead recovered from, let's see here, I guess that, I'm gonna, Maybe I'll put it. Yeah, that's going to have to be it. You guys, you guys can see that. That's the lead we covered. And there's one piece of iron. This is like a chip off of some tool or something like that. Anyway, that's the lead. And uh, mostly that's all the lead that was recovered and taken out of the environment permanently. So anyway, thanks for watching, everybody. I really appreciate it. And... Uh, Take a look down in the comment section, leave a comment. If you don't mind, please like and subscribe to the channel or like the video and subscribe. And uh, see you next time. Take care.